This is a quick tutorial on how to create an alpha channel video with transparency to use in the layer creator. The first thing you need to do is open up a video editing software and for this we're going to be using Adobe After Effects. This isn't the only program you can use to make these videos but it's the one we're going to be using now and most of the techniques apply to any other application. So first just create a new composition and we're going to give this one a name of tiger-split and that's because the video we're going to be using is a video of a tiger and you'll see why it's named split later. The video is 1280 by 720. What you want to do is make sure this box isn't checked. You want to uncheck lock aspect ratio and go over here and you're going to want to the width and height should be the width and height of the video file you want to make transparent and ours is 1280 by 720. So what, we're, what you actually want to do for this split composition is do double the width. So what you do is just keep what you have, 1280, and add times 2 in tab, and it will automatically do the math for you. Then the other thing you need to do is make sure the duration is whatever the duration of your video is. And in our case, the duration is actually 10 seconds, so we don't need to change anything. But if your video is longer or shorter, just change the duration here so that it matches. And then just hit OK and we'll go ahead and change this view to fit and so you see it's actually double wide what an actual video width is the first thing you want to do is actually save your project <laughs> it's a comes in handy later in case you uh, you encounter a problem you don't want to lose all your work so just save your project and we're gonna go to our tiger video folder and call this tiger alpha video and then the next thing you want to do is import the video file. So go to File, Import, File, and then find the video you want to use, and ours is tiger.mp4. And it imports the file into our project. The next thing we need to do is create a new composition from this video. So if we right-click on the tiger video and select New Comp from Selection, this will create another composition that the tiger video is a part of. The next step you want to take is in the effects and presets panel. If you don't have this window open, just go to window effects and presets. So in the search bar under this panel, we want to type in key light and you'll see key light 1.2. And what you do is you just click and drag onto the green screen video and it'll open up this effects controls window. What we want to do is we want to get rid of the green so that it's only the tiger in this video. And so we select screen color, click on the eyedropper, and then click on the green, and you'll see that it's gone away, and that it's all that's left is the tiger. And if you don't see this white and gray grid, the transparency grid, just click this button right here. You might see like this, just black. If you click the grid, you'll see that it's actually transparent, and there's no black background. The only part of this composition is this tiger. Before you move on to the next step, what you want to do is switch this to combined matte, so what you see is a black background and a white area where they're creating this mask. And what you don't want is you don't want these little bits of, of gray. And if you scroll ahead in the video, you can see it a bit better. You don't want all these bits of gray in here. So what we actually need to do, there's lots of options over here to refine the mat. But what we're just going to do is we're just going to drop the balance down a bit, basically down to zero. And that makes it so that the the tiger is basically all white throughout. It's not it's not perfect, but it 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 does the job. It's it's better than what it was before, that's for sure. Once you've refined your mat, just switch it back to final result so that we're not confused. And then go back into the project tab. Make sure this is the one we're actually looking at here, this one tiger. What we need to do is actually rename it. So right click and rename it. And we're gonna name it dash key add dash key to the end so that we can tell our compositions apart. So this is, the original one is tiger split, which is still open down here, and this new one is tiger key. And with tiger key, what we're going to do next is right click on that composition and create another new composition from this selection. So it calls it tiger key 2, but what we'll want to do is we'll rename this so that we're not getting confused again to tiger dash alpha. So in the alpha, tiger alpha, composition, what you want to do, just right click in this area and go new solid. 
we're going to create a black solid. So when you want, you want to make sure the color is 100% black. So it should default to black, but if not, if it's on red or another color, you just drag into the far corner and make sure all these are zeros and you will get 100% black. And it should automatically be the same width and height as your composition, just make sure it is. And hit OK. And right now it placed it above the video, or the Tiger Key composition. So what we want to do is drag it beneath the composition so that we can see the tiger. And now we want to add an effect to the tiger to make it entirely white. So we go back to the effects and presets and search for fill. Grab the fill and drag it onto on the canvas. And now you'll see that the tiger is red. And we don't want the tiger to be red. We want him to be white. So we'll go to this red color picker and just drag it up to the top left corner. Make sure this says all Fs. So we have 100% pure white. Click OK. And now you see we have a white tiger on a black background. Just like we saw before in the preview of the mat, but this is actually 100% final like this. So now we go back to our original split composition and make sure you can view the project area. And what you want to do is we want to add both the new key and alpha compositions to the split composition. And so what we're actually going to do, we're going to put one on the left and one on the right. That's why we made this twice as wide as it of the original compositions. So we'll take the first one, the tiger key, and we'll just drag it down into this area. And what, it, what you see is it actually puts it in the center of the composition. So what we need to do is we need to adjust it so it's aligned to the left. So select the Tiger Key composition layer in the timeline area and hit the P key on your keyboard and you'll see it brings up the position modifier. And all you need to do is, since right now it's positioned perfectly in the center at 1280, because our composition is twice that, we just need to divide this by two. So you can either do the math in your head or just do it like this. Just add slash two, hit tab, and then you'll see it change it to 640, which is half of 1280, and now the composition is aligned to the left. And then we're going to do the same thing with the alpha composition. As you see, it's in the center again. We hit P. This time, we'll just hit, we'll multiply this by 1.5 so that it moves it to the perfect right location, or 1920 in our case. So now you see we've got the keyed out version here with transparency of the of the tiger and you can see they they align in time and on the right we have the mat basically so what the creator will do is it will view this video file and it will divide it in half and it will tell it will tell us to only show this part of the video that is in white and the transparency will come through so you won't see anything behind the tiger when you view it in interactive print. So to finish up, the last thing you need to do is we need to make sure that our that our time ruler here lines up with the end of the video because there's actually a few empty frames at the end. So to zoom in here so we get a better look, just grab this little navigator and pull it down so everything kind of zooms in. And as you can see, the video ends here, but the work area ends here. So all we need to do is grab this guy and move him back so that we don't have any empty spot so that the end of the video doesn't all of a sudden become a big error. And then the last thing you need to do is export the video. And there's only a few things you need to know when exporting. So in After Effects, just go Export. And the best way to do this is to add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. And that will open up a separate application. This will give you an, an, a, the ability to export the video. And what you want to do is make sure this is on H.264. And we'll have it match source high bitrate. And also make sure that it has brought in the split composition. You don't want the key or the alpha. You want the two, the split composition, the, the double wide one. And then we just hit this green play button, and it will encode this video. And now the video is done, and we can uh, we can look at what we have. So if we go to our video folder that we have our project in. You'll see there's a new folder created with the output tigersplit.mp4. And if we preview this, you'll see it's, it's black over here because the video can't actually have actual transparency. But the video 
when when viewed in the creator, the white mask will be placed over this side of the video, and it will it will show up transparent. So even though it shows up as black right now, it will appear transparent when you use this in the creator. And that's all you need to do, and that's how you create an alpha channel video to use in the layer creator.